Hi, welcome to Bioblog. Today we are going to discuss about vector growth curve and important growth formulas. Starting off with the vector growth curve, we can find that the growth curve is being represented based on the logarithmic cell concentration against time. There are several phases in between. Starting off with the first phase, that is the lag phase. In lag phase, is where you, you provide the initial inoculum or the bacteria into the nutrient medium. The bacteria takes some time for division, so it initially adjusts themselves with the availability of the uh, nutrient around. So there is no growth, hence it is known as a lag phase. After the, the bacteria does able to know that there is a, enough availability of nutrition, the bacteria grows exponentially and quite continuous against time. Hence, it is known as the exponential growth phase. Looking after the, the next phase is the stationary phase. In stationary phase, which we know as some of the cells able to survive and some doesn't because there is lack of nutrition. That is, the bacteria have uh, used up enough nutrition to uh, use up for the growth. And hence, you can see some of the cells are even dying. In the dead phase, is there is no viability or there is very few cells surviving. Hence, you can see most of the cells are dying even though there are some few cells seen as surviving. In a typical experiment, you can see uh, like in the lag phase, there is few cells or no cells in it. Or you have just added some of the bacteria in the medium. In the logarithmic growth phase, there you can see there is a certain shift in the increase of the bacterial cells in the medium. And some of the precipitant you see is dead, dead cells, but this is very, very few and maybe negligible. In the stationary phase, you can find that um, the bacterial cells are some of the f uh, some of the cells are able to survive, and some of the cells doesn't. Like the fifty percent are surviving, so fifty percent doesn't. So it's kind of like survival of the fittest. Next, in the death phase, you can see no viable cells at all, or very very few. Now we'll move off to the calculations. It's very very important very f during the research process. So in the first uh, formula for calculating the total number of cells medium. So you have to know this formula where b is equals a and 2 to the power n. b signifies the total number of cells. This is the total cells. Where A is the number of cells present in the origin inequal, like the number of cells you provide into the medium. And N represents the number of divisions. So you can calculate based on the values provided. Either of the missing you can find out easily. Moving off to the next formula is Dg suffixes and is called to T by, divided by N. Dg represents the generation time or the doubling time that is uh, time taken for single generation and this D represents the time less by the number of generations as for example if you are calculating for three generation the, then this D will signify the total time taken from the first to the third generation and Tg is only the time for single generation. And N, we already know that it is the number of divisions. That's all. This is easy to calculate the uh, from the bacterial growth curve. And if you have got some problems to share, please do it and please comment. Thank you.